Guess who I am? <laughs> Papa. <laughs> I've got all the props and everything. I know you kind of killed it last minute. Yeah, this was literally constructed today. Um, I'm the grandpa who ate a <laughs> quart of paint um, and didn't realize it wasn't yogurt until his grandson or son came in and was like, wait, you ate a bunch of paint and wiped it all over your body. That's who I am. <laughs> Um, and I'm the fucking devil. Yeehaw. Like, for the 80th time in the row, in a row in my life. But no, it gives. You, yeah, it literally looks good. Like, this is your best iteration yet. Like, you yeah. turned out this look. And also, it's crazy that we threw these together in, like... Last minute. Five minutes. Yeah. I, I was shocked how easy it was to do this makeup. But yeah. some people... I was actually thinking, like, never am I like, God, I'm so, get, like, talented. But some people can either do it or they can't. They can't. Like, they either have it or they don't. Yeah. You either like, have it like, or you don't. You can, can either put fake paint on your lips or you can't you know i want that to stain so bad no i was washing my hands to get it off my fingers because i was like i don't want this to get everywhere and it started staining and that was only after like five minutes of it being on um and i'm absolutely terrified because if i have to walk around new york with my lips painted like this like i'm gonna freak the fuck out i'm actually gonna have a connection i will a push comes to shove if anything there it'd be like the lightest stain and it'll last like a day. i'll just put some concealer on i was gonna say i got some you. red lips uh, uh, you also don't leave till monday so yeah. you're good you, you i got some red lips i'll put some red lips on yeah i just put some lipstick on when it was wet it looked really good because yeah. it looked like paint yeah I, <laughs> when um, i came into the kitchen and you were on. like alone looking at a reference picture and like putting it on and you turned and you actually had it all over your hands it looked like <laughs> i can just put a little bit more on <laughs> it just adds to like the whole vibe of the look like it makes sense aren't you scared of like getting it in your mouth um i've already crossed that bridge you know it's like when we were playing with oh that's a good like halloween related story but it's not at all when we were playing with fake leftover blood and <laughs> We didn't it read started that. burning my mouth. <laughs> we didn't read you were supposed to put it in your mouth and you put so I drank like a quart of it and my <laughs> mouth started tingling and we read the bottle like after we did the whole bit and like my mouth, it was not supposed to be in my mouth at yeah, all. Not at all. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes, sometimes comedy kills. Are you? <laughs> it's like it's like it tingles. You, you know, first here's one. um here's a tip: is you yeah you suck on your finger to get the. I did drag for ten years. <laughs> I know that trick. Um, but yeah, this is the Halloween special. Halloweener. Um, I'm loving the vibe so far. We we got some lights going on in here. Yeah, we've we've got a whole different vibe. Actually, also before we get into the episode. We would like to announce that we officially have started, started a Patreon. The Patreon. Um, please help us fund this. Please, please help us fund our podcast. Because as you can tell, we have had zero sponsorship so far. Um, we're hoping that changes soon. But we thought... Why not make you pay for a community? <laughs> yeah. you, you're you sitting there and you're alone and you don't have anyone to talk to. And we thought, you know what? We love you so much. We're going to make you pay money. Exactly. To be a part of a little community with us. It's on your teeth. It's like scaring me oh, that God. it's on your teeth. <laughs> oh, wow. It's really. Yeah, go like this. Like, go like this. It's like falling on your teeth. Oh, it's really in there. <laughs> um, It'll dry soon, though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um. But yeah, we, we started a Patreon. Um, we're actually really excited about it. There's some content already on there. Mm -hmm. um, there's we, some extra Halloween content. There's some extra Halloween content. Um, yeah, we'll just be throwing up extra episodes whenever we 
we kind of feel like it like at least once a month twice a month maybe we'll be throwing up extra episodes treating patreon like personal twitter since we yeah. don't have twitter so that i that i'm excited for yeah just like it's to be heard <laughs> blowing more. that shit up yeah um yeah we, we're gonna throw a discord in there so we can have like a little discord community we'll do live streams and q and a's um for certain tiers um but yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, it's it's very foreign for us. It's something yeah, we've never done before. I have before. no idea how it really works. We're figuring it out as we go. But it's fun, and that's what matters. Yeah, as long as it stays fun. The second it starts to hurt my brain, <laughs> I'll let you know. We're cutting that shit off. Get the fuck out of my face! But um, yeah, that'll be linked in the bio. If you if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. And you're the if you don't subscribe, you're the sole reason this show gets canceled. <laughs> I'm you're, sorry. You're the reason you're never going to see it again. I'm literally <laughs> no. trying to look at the notes because my brain just went, <laughs> my brain just went blank. And I was like, I need to look at the notes to keep up to what we, we have to do right now. <laughs> and it's literally read Drew's notes, pocket pussy. <laughs> That's one of them. Those are the notes for the episode. Today. That's what we got going on. Um, but okay. So while I was back in Texas, um, it was, it was the week and a half of realizing things for me. Like genuinely, like. I realized a lot of shit, um, and yeah, I just I I wrote them down because I was like, it's not good shit. It's it's not it's something it should I should have known or like should not be so excited to talk about. But um, the first one, I'll start off like easy. Like I'll start off like okay, whatever, like whatever. Um, but the first thing I realized was um, when I'm back in Texas. Uh, a lot of Republicans come up to me and they start spouting the Republican bullshit in my face and just like, like they feel so comfortable like saying the most gnarly shit and I, I never knew why. I genuinely never understood why. I was like, I'm pretty open about like my political stance online. Like if you know me, like yeah. you know where I stand. Um and then I realized, like, the reason why they come up to me and talk to me all the fucking time is because I'm constantly cosplaying a Republican. Like, I look, <laughs> I literally look like a Republican. Yeah, the whole the white time. trash look is like in LA, it gets red a certain way, but literally in redneck ass areas, like, it's yeah. it's still seen as like. We're together. We're together in this. Yeah, no. It, it, Trump, if you hear this, uh, you know please what I do, come help me. <laughs> Trump, Trump, please save us. Trump 2021, please save us. No, um, but when I do, when people come up to me and say that shit, I just nod my, I nod my head and say, mm-hmm, yep. And I just let them keep talking and spiraling. And like, I've gotten some crazy fucking like takes and like conspiracies and just heard some really insane shit that like, have made me grow as a person. You should, when they start talking to you, just start saying nonsense back. But, like, not nonsense, like, making shit up. But if they're like, and do you agree? You should be like, yes and no. When she uh, <laughs> when she went to the store and we came back in the horse and, like, the horse pooped and then we cleaned it and then... Um, so they actually think I'm that shit crazy. Six flags and like <laughs> Girl, what? How did you? Do, how did you do that? I don't know. I thought of like a petting zoo and like a <laughs> like a circus, and then I thought of Six Flags. Um, okay, this one is like the kicker. Like this one is actually like I, y'all will look. Do you at think me I'm? I, do you think I'm gonna actually be like, oh my god, so true? Potentially. No, 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 no. You'll you're literally gonna freak the fuck out. Um, so I found out that pads stick to panties and not directly onto the vagina back in Texas. I thought it was like a sticker that you put directly onto the skin. And I always was like, oh, that, that they probably like mastered the science of like the, the stick. So it didn't like <laughs> stick in pubes. the science of the stick. Because I always heard like, it always falls off or it falls out. But like now I realize it's because it's sticking to the panties and not to the vagina how would that even work if it was sticking to your coochie then you would bleed onto it and it would detach is that why you thought it fell that's off what I, that's what i'm saying no they mastered the science of the stick because like it doesn't pull out pubes <laughs> <laughs> see there i i just i had the work around you know um well 
I remember the first time I used a tampon or tried to use a tampon. I didn't understand that you were supposed to like put it like push the like thing in. So I left the plastic like the huh. like the like prong, prongy plastic part. Have you ever uh, seen a tampon? Like, no, I the I old school like plastic ones. I've done that like because huh? like you put it up your butt to like stop diarrhea, and like I've done that too, where like you leave the plastic in and it like just stays up there. What the hell? You put it up your butt? You put tampons up your butt? <laughs> no. Does, <laughs> does, does anybody else like do that? No. Or? Wait, actually, also, I, I think, I don't know if tampons still come with that plastic. Like, you shouldn't put tampons up your butt. I don't even think you should be putting tampons in your fucking coochie because I just, I don't fuck with tampons. I never did. I, I agree. A tampon, I think we should get rid of periods. I, oh, I thought you were going to say, like, I think we should fl- free bleed or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think we should figure out a way to get rid of periods. If and get... that's on period. I'm just like, see, I'm You're written by a girls. woman. I'm yeah, written by a woman. By... I'm for the girls. Like, <laughs> I'm here for y'all. Like, I'll fight where whoever I have to fight. If I broke both both of my wrists and I, like, couldn't put in my diva cup, would you put my diva cup Absolutely, in without a second thought. <laughs> like, I'd get in there and, like, <laughs> I'd, I'd fold it up and spread it open and just... That's not how... Wait, what would you fold? My, like, my my vulva? Yeah, I'd, like, fold it out. Or you, like, roll it. And you know, like, when you roll hair and you put the hair clip in it, you do that to my vulva? Yeah, and then I'd really take um, some time to try to find the clitoris. <laughs> That's a psyop. <laughs> <laughs> the clitoris doesn't exist. Um, technical, technical difficulties. That's what happens when you call the clit um, a, a psyop. lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It does. It does exist, and it it gives me power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you show me? Yeah. Later. <laughs> I was gonna say something so fucking like foul say and it. just like it's a halloween episode no it's, a foul it, it, it's, episode. It, it's 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 like sexual like if there is like a freak out there who like wants ever like a uh, audio snippet of me saying something disgusting it was like so sexual <laughs> it's some shit you would say during sex when you're like really feeling yourself and i almost just said it but i was like oh my god like that would be crazy <laughs> not allowed not allowed yeah. no that's patreon content yeah subscribe to patreon if you want to see in your flicker bean <laughs> talk about my pearl <laughs> <laughs> polish your pearl <laughs> stole that that's not my joke <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah every time i look at you for too long i like look at the way you look <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah so talking about coochies or whatever oh but yeah i was saying i don't i only i only use diva cups although this last period because i was home alone and i was just editing i just like sat around in my period panties like a little diaper all day i support all that the time like legitimately i know it's not my place to speak but i'm like free bleed <laughs> that's not free bleeding though free bleeding is like you have no pad no tampon no period panties like you're just letting it go Uh-oh. you're just letting it you're letting it we soak. should free the period and free the nipple i want to soak up the blood i'm gonna <laughs> me when i'm a tampon <laughs> <laughs> what song is that what is that i want to soak up the sun I wanna tell you what this the this the spot where the sun doesn't shine my butthole (laughs) you know what i've always wanted to try is you know how people are like oh if like if your butthole saw more sun you'd be happier like there are those people yes they charge their assholes with the sun yeah i want to be one of those people i need to that's why i need to move to like a rural area so i can like go stand outside and like just like spread it open and put it into the again not something i need to like verbally like explain but yeah (laughs) that yeah i want to expose my hole to the sun more but the reason we were going to talk about holes was um we were literally going to talk about how we used to just hang out in sex shops yeah but i don't even know if there's a story there we literally just used to hang out like it was absolutely like it wasn't like erotic it wasn't funny we weren't laughing yeah we weren't there to make fun of anyone we We weren't like, like people watching we were legitimately just there like hanging out and just like seeing what's what you yeah know? what's new like let's see let's see the new technology some of that shit is fucking crazy I but know. it's it's literally investment pieces like a good wing bot is like two hundred dollars which is crazy but it'll last you a lifetime but it's it's two hundred dollars but that's a small price to pay for happiness exactly that's a small price to pay for high standards <laughs> for the rest of your life <laughs> um but yeah we used to just like hang out i think i'm comparable to a vibrator (laughs) 
finally I get the job done. You like 10 minutes after saying that the clip is a psyop <laughs> and it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, but yeah, we used to just hang out there and I don't I don't know why we stopped. You know what it is? It was like how we would hang out in like CVS and Rite Aid for yeah. a while. Or not Rite Aid, Walgreens. Um, <clears throat> actually, are you a CVS, Rite Aid, or Walgreens girl? Growing up, I frequented Walgreens. Same. Um, but now... I'm a CVS girl. Yeah, as I got older and it's it was more my choice, I was a CVS girl. Yeah. I actually think of the three, I think Walgreens would be considered more sophisticated. See, I feel like Walgreens is like more like old person. Like, you, like that's where I all the old people I guess that's why I associate it with like yeah. sophistication because I'm like, y'all are like bones. Yeah. Yeah. Walgreens old. Rite Aid is just like... Rite Aid is scary to me. It's like the outlier. Like... Rite Aid, I used to think that there was only Rite Aid in, like, northeast of America. Because the first time I ever went to a Rite Aid, it was in, like, Boston with, like, Dana and Jake. Oh, was that the night where you just walked there and it was freezing fucking cold? Yes. And I bought, like, a funky hat and then my pants ripped. And that's what I remember <laughs> from that night. But, yeah, that was the first time I went there. And then I remember I bought, like, makeup on the website because it was, like, $2 for everything. Because, <laughs> like, I think Rite Aid almost went out of business or something and they were selling things for really cheap. And I was like, damn, th- this place would be cool if it existed. <laughs> like, if it was If real. it was anywhere else. <laughs> and then I found out it's, like, literally. Rite everywhere. Aid is a literal liminal space. Every time no, I go in there, fully. I fully, I freak the fuck out. I went in there the other day and I hung out in there for so long and I was, it, it was like fucked up and I was just walking around. Like I was walking back and forth. Like I was even contained to one area of the <laughs> That's store. That's what they do to like, you. Like, you know, that one hallway, I was like walking across <laughs> it a bunch and the workers started like kind of hanging around me because rightfully so I was wearing this dress with blue jeans under it and my uggs stuffed in and the jeans were stuffed into my uggs and then my big poche hat and sunglasses and i had like a big thing of cafe bucelo hang i'll send the picture to kai because i was literally like hanging out with it like on my head and i had a jacket on top of all that (laughs) and it was like it was one of the hottest days of the week it was like 87 outside and that's how i was dressed like walking around riding hell no (laughs) yeah literally I don't know. I just feel like they like pump like a like a gas into the air that just makes you lose consciousness, and then you just buy a bunch of shit. Because every time I'm in right I, I buy literally everything. <laughs> I like spend like three hundred dollars on candy every time I'm there. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> to, to be fair, you're just like a snack person. Yeah. Because but I guess yeah, I do the same thing. I like bought I bought like socks. I literally somehow spent like thirty seven dollars, and I went in there for coffee i was like i'm gonna go in and buy my coffee and then i walked out with like three different drinks to try and i even thought about buying a bottle of wine because i was like maybe i'm at that age where i just have a bottle of wine in my house and i have a cup of wine and then i was like yeah i'm gonna start that journey at my right age yeah. like hell no um yeah i feel like that in sephora and then there's another store that i was just in recently that i was like dude i have to get i have to get out of here like we have to like get the fuck out of here because I'm, I'm losing my mind. But we were in there, I think, together. Have we gone anywhere? No. Mm-mm. Or was it with Orion? I think I was at Spirit Halloween, and I was like, I actually need to get the fuck out of here. Like, I was freaking out, because I was like, there's so much happening. There's so many people here. That's also a terrifying place. Went today to get some face paint. Especially the closer it gets to Halloween, the scarier it gets in that bitch. Yeah. Like... <laughs> like they should just turn it into a maze on halloween night <laughs> and turn off the lights and throw people around <laughs> throw everything in the middle and you have to like dig through the pile to get to it that sounds fun i saw a, um a oh my fucking god i'm literally overheating like, I have to take it. <laughs> like i'm over fucking heating like i'm dying you're having fucking psychosis that was a crazy reaction <laughs> i'm like you like did not dying. mention being hot once and then you threw it off like that. i was trying to like um Play just cool. get through it but like just be chill and also the fucking pain on my lips are like making me tweak out like i I could say that i I can't believe there are some people who wear i'm just different from other girls and i just like don't like kick makeup on my face like this anymore like ever um but no i actually can't believe some people like spend all of halloween night in a face paint like this because i'm i just want it off i want it off now i want to touch my face i want to touch my eyes i want to give myself covid in my own home oh they should make um you know how they have those little (laughs) those little things to make cilantro at home they should make that for covid and they should give you little like test kits to make your own um (laughs) variant of covid at home no and they can give you the absolutely no (laughs) they can give you the delta and the regular one and then you can sit with your own germs and see what happens why 
You know what? I thought about it. Like when we were like coughing in those dishes, like when I was like collecting like everybody's bacteria, like if one of us had COVID, like. Oh, that would have been, I didn't even think about that. You were fully doing that during COVID. Yeah, no, I was like collecting everybody's bacteria during COVID, but I was like, oh, I could easily like collect someone's COVID. Actually, that's not how fucking viruses work. I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> Never mind. I, I was just like, you know how like the cultures grew or whatever, but that's just bacteria being pretty. But I was going to say I was going to commit bio warfare and just like release it. You know what's bio warfare? Put it on your par- pillow. Um, Azul's fucking hot ass breath. I went to go like touch her today and she was yawning and I literally almost fell. I almost collapsed. I almost collapsed the way I did when I opened that letter for the IRS today. Oh my God. I wish we got that on video. I literally started crying. That was... That was actually like traumatizing for me. Like when, <laughs> you know what else was traumatizing for me this morning that I didn't tell you? But like when I walked in the room and you started like, you were like, Azul, oh, no, Azul. Was I thought Azul was dead because you were like doing it so well. I was like, oh my God, my heart dropped and it started racing really quick. quick and I was like, that's why I walked away. And then when you were walking back to the, because I thought it was real. And you're like, are you, did you leave the door? I just like played it cool. But I genuinely thought Azul died. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I started panicking, but. I feel so bad. Yeah, I'm just like an actress. I know how no, to. No, like... that's, that was my first thought. I was like, damn, like she killed that role. Like <laughs> Disney needs to sign her. She killed that role. The role <laughs> in question is me like yelling at my cat when I wake up. Disney sign her. No, we need to talk about the fact that Azul has been avoiding the IRS and she was underpaying her employees. Yes. So that she could get away with doing less work and being <laughs> co- she was being cost efficient, but at what cost? Like <laughs> her own life. She's yeah. going to jail. Yeah, Azul's going to federal prison. <laughs> I'm just I just want to be real. Like, you She's know what's actually girl. scary? Sorry, I'm I'm have not had like a good meal, and this uh, I've had so much caffeine, so I am like going off an the insane wall. amount. Of like caffeine. yeah, um, I saw this TikTok that this girl was like freaking out because she didn't realize that the payment from the creator fund fund was categorized as like um self employment, and she didn't realize she had to pay taxes back on that. Oh, and she was no. freaking the fuck out because she was like, I just got a letter from the IRS saying that I owe all this money and I don't fucking have it. And oh, she was freaking hell. the fuck out. And I was like, that Welcome is Welcome so to scary. the real world. That, d- dude, that is so scary though. And I feel like that happens with almost every creator. It's like you're making that like money off of it and you're like, oh, this is fun. I'm making money off the internet. I'm going to start reporting sudden, every creator to the IRS and taking like 20% of their... Because that they have a clause where if you report someone who's not paying their taxes... You, you get like Stop, 10%, I- <laughs> you get 10% of like what they owe. Um, I forgot to say <laughs> that, um, my hair is gray, but do you know how I made it gray? How? I sprayed dry shampoo in it. A lot of dry shampoo. I'm a genius. You're a genius. We're a genius together. Like, why did you want to mention that? I don't know. I just thought it was like creative. That was cool. Thank you. That was cool. Thank you. Don't ever fucking speak again. I know. He always just thinks he has to just like have a fucking word in what we do. You know what, Kai? Get over here. Come on. Come over here and sit on mommy's lap. Actually, you want me to... No. Do your fucking job. You save on the computer. <laughs> here, I'll record you and we'll just put this clip in. One day we just... we When we have um, the budget, you can have your own little camera. Okay. Okay, Kai, you get your own little camera in the in the very 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 right corner, very very small. I mean, and I you edit. only and you only get shown when you laugh. I edit the video though. That, I make it, it as big as I want. How about you shut the hell He's up and I'm farting. gonna? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just back to oh wait, we have pumpkins. Oh, uh, I know. No, I'm, I'm like save it for the page. You have to go to Patreon. My to leg <laughs> is so numb. My leg is so numb. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, it's literally non-existent. <gasps> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Dude, I haven't felt this in so long. I feel that every single time I'm on a plane. Oh. <laughs> it feels kind of good. Though. Ah! No, it's at, it's at the point where it's pins and needles, and if you move it an inch, it just electrocutes me. Don't even fucking play with me right now, because I'll kick you. No, you won't be able to. It'll hurt you. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's that. Like, I, There's another one that I like, like a thing that I realized, but I didn't like bring up um but i decided like i don't like soup 
I think soup is lame as hell. I think. Cool fucking topic. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's not chill. Like, I think, like, everyone's lying when they say they like soup. You haven't had, like, a good-ass fucking soup. And I refuse to. I don't want that. I, I don't like care. I have made decent soup. No, you've time. made really good soup. But, I mean, like... You mean you wouldn't... You would never go out of your way to, like, pick soup. Yeah, like, if I'm at a restaurant, I'm not fucking getting a bowl of soup. Like, are you out of your goddamn mind? I don't know. Like you're that just, just a child. It comes with age. One day when you're mature, you'll understand. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love soup. I'm a soupy girl. Soup girls are the best. Soup. What is that audio on TikTok? Soup girls. I don't fucking know. Um, but I grew up eating soup literally every Sunday because my mom would make um sopa de carne. There's a different name for it, but I don't know it. But it's like beef soup. Um, mm. pero sopa de carne. Como On se Sundays, dice. Como se dice. Me voy a chupar un pinga. Me como voy se la dice. Calle, me voy a bailar. Me voy a chupar. Me voy a fumar marihuana. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hace I, bailando con mis likes. I'm saying I need to put on a shirt. Soy un puta. Te encanta bailar, chupar y fumar. So mm. I am a slut. I like to <laughs> dance. And, drink, and I'm hot. Uh, dance, drink, and smoke. I think that's what I said. I don't even remember. Oh. You don't know Spanish, babes. You I do. Know. Say something to me and I bet I know it. Um, but like, yo tiene ganas de cagar porque me tomaste un montón de café. I had too much caffeine today and I'm shaking. No, but you were close. I said I ha- I need to shit because I've had too much coffee. Oh, I heard caca. <laughs> I did hear caca in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you, can, you can get around. That's I important. like pick up. I pick up on some things. Um, I picked up a thing, thing or two being around you. What the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Literally, it means I speak Spanish. Oh my god, I forgot to call my mommy. Mm. Oh, no one talks about the the epidemic of growing up and like not calling your parents anymore and being bad at it. You're really good at talking yeah. to your parents on the phone. I, I'm, I'm like, I'll just like hit them up every You're once in a while. Bored as shit. Yeah, I, it's like, either I that. Have shit to do. <laughs> Girl, like you don't have anything else to do. I'm bored as shit, and I'm like, you know, like. I haven't talked to my mom in like three days. Like I'm gonna call her and hopefully my dad's I, around. I feel like I wake up every single day. I'm a good son. What can I say? You Kai's know, laughing at me. Boy. Yeah. I don't know. What, what's so funny about that, Kai? No, nothing. Nothing. You just like no. I, you're like a simp for your parents. Oh my god. I feel like I am too. But I, I don't. I just don't <laughs> talk to them on the phone. A anyway. simp for my for parents. My parents. <laughs> Dude, I I am such a like. <laughs> I'm the worst kind of sibling. Like, I'm always like, but yeah, but like, think about like our parents. Like, I, I'm always a person, you know how there's a sibling that takes the parent's side always? Mm-hmm. That's me. I'm always like, but yeah, you're not thinking about them. <laughs> and my siblings are like, you're not thinking about me. And I'm like, you think for yourself. How about that? I'm just a cunt like that. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a cunt. I am a kiss ass to my parents and I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't care. <laughs> like, I literally don't. Like, what are you going to do? Find me? Yeah. Go ahead. I miss being the age where you could, like, fist fight your siblings, though. Because sometimes my siblings still say shit that annoys me, and I want to pop them upside the fucking head. Um, but I love them so much. And they don't listen to this, so I can say whatever I want. They smell like shit. They're <laughs> ugly. <laughs> That's not true. All my siblings are very... I literally love your siblings. Um, Getting, like... It actually, like, freaks me out how much they've grown up since I've met them. Like, it, it is terrifying. I know. Like... It, Natalie is, like, a teenager now. It, it shocks me. It so genuinely shocks me. Every time you show me a picture of her, and I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Same with Leo. Like, yeah, it, Leo's no. big as shit. Leo's tall. Yeah. Like, all of them are that's like... That's the thing. That's what I noticed when we were in Miami. Like, Leo is, like, growing up. He's going to be a tall-ass kid. Yeah. Um, da- Dante's getting big, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about my, like, 25-year-old siblings. I'm like, they're, they're getting so They're tall. growing up. They're growing up. They're, like, growing into themselves. <laughs> um, but, yeah... I'm like the mommy sibling also, but we don't have to get into that. I'm not. I'm the black sheep of the family. And I that's something I realized when I was back in Texas. It was kind of a really sad realization. Um, I was like, I was like, dude, I'm selfish with my siblings. Like, they are so giving to me and I fucking suck giving shit back to them. So, like, I decided I'm going to start being like a good brother to my siblings. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was like. I just, like, Madeline, like, offered me a place to stay, which, like, is not that big of a deal. Like, obviously, like, they can come over and stay whenever. But then just, like, that just spiraled, like, a thought. Like, Steven was even, like, yeah, you can borrow my car while I'm here. And I was, like, what have I done for, like, 
y'all to like be this giving to me but like i guess it's just like family shit but i'm like you they're your family they should be nice. yeah but no, no but it, it it just generally is like i it, haven't been a giving sibling and i want to change that so. it's it's really funny to think about like it's, family dynamics are so different across the board i always forget that because something like i have very traditional and like i think what some would deem toxic ideologies of family that are like really based in latin culture mm-hmm. or like i think just like poc culture is very like no matter what like your sibling could fucking shoot you in the feet today like you better like be there for them tomorrow like that's yeah. kind of like or it's like you're like parents can say something really mean to you today but like that's still your parent like yeah the, like that ideology but i've like i've always felt like that i'm like i don't give a fuck like girl y'all can push me down a well I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna figure my way back up and I'm be gonna, nice i'm gonna be an ass for one day but like yeah i'll be mean to you for, I, ah, i'll I, spit in your pillow yeah, I'm like, I'm just so nice to my siblings that I grew up, like, spitting on their pillows and in their drinks. I just thought about what Dante told us, and we can't say it to the public, but it literally made me crack up so hard. What Dante told us at the car. I don't remember. Um, Trump mask. The Oh, Trump my mask. God. <laughs> that was the funniest <laughs> shit I have ever heard in my life. We have to have Dante on to tell that story. Yeah, because that shit was so fucking funny. That yeah. was like insane. And I, yeah, I, I do want to, I don't know if people would be interested in family episodes. I don't know why the fuck this one's turning into like a family. Like, No, I genuinely want my family on here so bad. Like I want an episode with my mom. I want an episode with my dad. I want an episode with Madeline and Steven. I want an episode with Maddox. Oh, we should literally, we should do an episode in Miami and then in Texas with yeah. our parents. Yeah. My only thing is it sucks that my like mom can't speak English, but I guess that's like that's still cool. Yeah, we could like figure it out and do... could like figure out a subtitle. Situation. I could also just like sit there translating. We yeah. could like maybe figure out like specific questions for her and then yeah, I could, like translate them. Or we could have Kai sit there and work his little ass off <laughs> and put fucking subtitles on. We'll make him learn a new language. We'll teach you something. You don't know Spanish. Mm. You don't know Spanish. Why lie? Why lie? A little fucking freak. Also, my bracelet is like I don't know if you see the scratches. Oh, it's scratching like some the shit of the out of you. Gold folded up. Yeah, because my bracelet is like real gold and just like. If You're you- on my rob list. I'm robbing you later. <laughs> Shut up. I'm. Why have we not stolen from each other yet? Um, because I don't think we like want something from each other that bad, other than like clothing. But even that, it's like we steal like each other's markers and shit. But like we yeah, give we, them like, back. Yeah, we steal each other's like food. I yeah. I steal the fuck out of your food. Like Drew's food tastes so fucking yeah. good. Like Drew, like Drew could order literally anything right now, and like he he knows by now I'm coming in and I'm touching. Like, yeah, I just, it's like a part of my life now. Like I I have to over order just so Anya can eat all of my food. Yeah, but it's just it's part of it. It all know? comes out in the wash because then I I buy food and like he eats it too. Like it, it just all works out. Sorry. Exactly. I'm literally being fucking cut the fuck up by my goddamn bracelet. That's just one of the mer- many perils of like having swag like I do. Is sometimes like it hurts to be pretty. <laughs> you're so fucking annoying um i'm gonna look at a topic I, oh also i wish i wish this could be like a proper halloween episode where we like talk about halloween experiences as a kid but not only have we said all of our like kind of scary stories and like oh actually we could talk about last night oh because we both without telling each other i randomly brought it up and he was like save this for the podcast because i had like a i don't believe in fucking ghosts we all know this like i don't believe in that shit and i still don't think this shit was a fucking ghost i think i was going through a little bit of psychosis before i went to sleep like nothing big but i was falling asleep last night and i like was kind of like drifting off and then i heard like fully like very clearly a man say something oh hell standing in the corner of my room and i like I this is so whack because I don't fucking believe in ghosts. Like I'm just fucking crazy, so it's not real. Um, it's the but I fully in felt like a, a presence, and I like opened my eyes and turned to look in the corner, and nothing was there. And then I didn't like move my whole body, but I just turned my head, and then I turned my head back, and Azul was also looking in the corner. No, um, see, so, cats can see shit. Cats see shit. No, Azul's I just, swear, like, a little funky in the head. No, all cats do that. All cats see. Literally shit. Literally, Shane Dawson in his fucking video. <laughs> Recording his cat being a cat, being like, he sees something. Like, he's just always seeing things. Boom, boom. Like, girl, he sees dust. Yeah. Like, he's like. He sees a fucking moth flying. Yeah. Um, that shit scares the fuck out of me. Like, 
I just went back to sleep. I was like, what? I was like, I don't fucking What are they going to get me? I was like, what are you going to do? Kill me? Try it. Well, the scary thing that happened to me um, is it was like, it was less at night and more like when I was waking up in the morning. Um, and I was like deep into this like dream. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I I remember consciously thinking, like, why am I dreaming this right now? And then um, I started, like, feeling this, like, sensation in my lower half of my body. And I... Oh, it was a boner. No, no, no. (laughs) I swear to God, I pissed myself a little bit last night. (laughs) I swear to God. On my entire life, I pissed myself a little bit. Um, But I caught it. I woke up and I caught it before, like... I fully pissed myself, but I wet the bed last night. Um, one time I was literally sleeping in bed with someone and I fully woke up and I was like, I was like, I'm like wet. And I was like, oh, I like peed myself a little in my sleep. Like, and this was like a year ago. This no, yeah. Not- I fully pissed myself last night. Not like fully, but like. No, you, I had you, sh- you catch it. Uh, yeah, no. I like had to wake up, get out of bed, like take my boxers off shower put on some new boxers and don't you did not shower i swear on my entire life i did on my i wanted so badly for you to be like yeah i didn't no i, I didn't so- fucking shower i just like got up took my underwear off and went back to sleep but i was like see you call me a stinky bitch but it's different because i have like you know what i didn't do is i didn't wash my bed sheets <laughs> okay no it wasn't enough pee to go on my bed sheets that's not what i'm talking about mine was I, like, yeah my, my, neither was mine mine was <laughs> i'm not sleeping in a piss stain right now I just tinkled a little. Y'all laying in my bed like I don't squirt in it. <laughs> I know. Y'all be laying in my bed like I don't go to town. Like I don't go to Funky Town with my wingbar junior. Um, uh, I, yeah, I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> no, go for it. <laughs> you just sleep in your piss. Dude, when I go to bed, I have to pee like eight times. It's actually the worst part about like existing for me. It's like I have to go like tinkle because I'm just like I, I'm leaking. Like my hole is leaking every few minutes. Um, and then sometimes it's, it's, I was going to make a, another sex joke. <laughs> every time we've ever recorded anything at night, like the sex jokes, the amount of sex jokes that I make just like actually goes up um, because I don't have any brain power left. And I'm just like, um, I'm just horny literally then the day bleeds and i'm horny me as a tampon again i can just what's up with the tampon jokes i wouldn't use a tampon if my fucking life depended on it i don't want plastic in my coochie but i don't think they make them with the plastic things anymore that design was crazy like have you seen the head of a tampon it's literally like <laughs> spiky prongs like, yeah why is it like, like that? take a chunk out of me like if when i use it's it. like a biopsy every little time it's like a biopsy it takes a little chunk and you can send it off to the lab to see if it's carcinogenic when i did but, use a diva like, cup for the first time i was drunk and i put it in and i didn't know you were supposed to like let the air out to take it back out and i just like went to go grab it and yank it out it was literally oh my, my fucking insides out and i was so fucking did it scared. feel good oh it felt amazing does it clap is it purple <laughs> is it pink are you team cream are, are you on the squirt team or the cream team <laughs> <laughs> sorry i thought i thought i heard something yeah um i'll s- stop playing what is what that what was that What, what the fuck? That? No, stop. 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 What is that? Oh my god, oh did you my lock the fucking, fucking door? God. Did you forget to lock the fucking door? I forgot to lock the door. You were supposed to Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> Literally my worst fucking no, nightmare. No, no. Let me let me join. <laughs> You're like not even joining. You're like barely in frame. Like oh how do you get in here? The funny thing about poetic justice is it's just so poetic. It, oh, I oh still don't know God. if that's a fucking line from the movie. Let me get it. Hold on. Ew. Oh. You look <laughs> You look fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get into the show. <laughs> oh, Corella. Oh, Corella. Yeah. Girl. Happy Halloween. Welcome, girl. <laughs> I'm just getting started, darling. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you, like, do you actually want to, like, be here to be on the fucking podcast? Or do, are you going to do your little fucking joke? What is this? <laughs> 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 oh, it's, um, you put it up your butt. You remember how crazy I can be. I mean, how, did you, you, how did you get here, Corella? <laughs> 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 Needs an air basis. Uh, I needs an air basis. <laughs> you feeding him 
<laughs> I'm trying to get him to fucking bring back my dogs. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Show uh, off the outfit because I spent a lot of fucking money on this. <laughs> bring back my dogs. Is, it, no, Is that RuPaul? <laughs> Sorry. Action! Oh, oh my fuck. <laughs> no, when he was in character, like, I swear to God, I had to hold back punches. Like, when he did the born bad, mad, brilliant thing, I... F- no, I, I fully, I'm not kidding at this point, it, like, it, like, flash bangs my brain. Don't... Oh! Oh, my God! Yeah. yeah. Give it back to her. Don't be mean. Bring back my dogs. Hold on. <laughs> so... <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it. Like, no. We we want we brought you on. Well, we didn't bring you on. You broke in. Um, and yeah, no, like, I was sitting in your fucking bedroom, and Azul uh, took a big shit. <laughs> <Did he laughs> no, actually? it like it stunk so bad, and I was like, I can't move. Like, it can't be too loud. Like, and I was literally in there for a fucking hour while y'all were talking about tampons. Ew, I hate looking at you from the back. I, why? Because I look good. <laughs> Don't look at me. So I had to sit on the floor. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we we don't we we don't have any setup for guests. Yeah, yet. we haven't figured out the guest situation yet, but we're thinking yeah. we're just we're gonna make <laughs> them sit on the floor for now. Damn, um, Daniel, humble every one Bring of our guests. Bring your own chair if you want to be if you want to be up to our level. Exactly, we'll include that in the message. But yeah, we want to start having guests, and if this is like our first guest situation, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We can bring just yeah. that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, i never been on a podcast. I'm trying to figure out the groove of it. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you are one of the most unbearable so people so chaotic. I swear, if you fucking touch my head again, Drew, I'm going to break your <laughs> I can't stop you. touching it. How much can you, how, can you, how much can you curse on here? Uh, as much as you want. Can we do the media part already? So I can get mine out. <laughs> do you need to? Do you need some promo? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Greer needs some promo. Is that what it Who is? The fuck? Who's touching my head? Greer is going on tour. If you want to get your tickets, go get your tickets. Second link. Who are you supposed to be? Second link in the bio. Not? You're on my podcast, bitch. Who are you supposed to be? No costumes. Costumes. Oh, I'm no. the devil. I'm horny. Oh, that's what I am. Okay. I took that joke from my friend Jester. Um, I am the paint man who ate a quart of paint. The fuck does that mean? Without thinking you. You're he literally gonna, you're gonna break into our fucking house, break onto the podcast, and judge our outfits. You. Okay, no, just I I think this will be good. Maybe like we'll do a little test run, and if the public doesn't fucking hate you, we'll bring you back on as a uh, real guest. Yeah, as we'll yourself. bring you back. Do y'all have any questions for me? Or um, yeah. Uh, wh- so where are you from? Let the people know where you're from. I actually originally moved here from. It's like just on the outskirts of Denver, and I ended up moving to LA in like twenty. 18 2017 and, and that, 27 no we met in 2018 yeah we met in 2018. right yeah, we met in 2018 and um then my life changed um are yeah. you okay with what or what do you mean <laughs> you were just scratching really hard <laughs> well the wig i mean the, my hair it just <laughs> <laughs> um, um maybe we should talk about when we first met josiah and how big of a fucking asshole okay, no, he no, was. No, maybe Wait, you should, should let say, me t- should tell the story. Should we save that for like a full episode? Like when he's a proper guest? Or should we let like... Crew Ow! Out? Yeah, we'll, we'll just... <laughs> we're gonna. I'm going to kick you off if you don't stop screaming. <laughs> Wait, can I do one scream? Okay. Ow! 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 Okay. Dude, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> I know, that's my reaction <laughs> this too. This is what we go through every single day. It's, um, y'all it's record this every okay, single day? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Who I'm are a, you? I'm a freelance um, stand-up musician. Um, stand-up <laughs> musician? <laughs> We're now Yankovic. Uh, um, I, Bo, Bo, Bo burned them. Bang a bitch. Bo burned them. Um, I have been... Yeah. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> All right. I've been, uh, <laughs> see, it feels wrong though because it feels like I'm down here and you guys are bullying me. Exactly. No, we're not. That's exactly the case with every And guest. you guys are older than me, so. Keep fucking talking. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll put your back. Um, so what, no, please don't. It actually itches a lot. Okay. Um, just, I was Cruella. Hold on. So. Now you're Josie. I'm in the band. Um, talk to us. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, y'all are asking me these fucking questions like you don't fucking see me every goddamn day. No, we're asking for the people. Well, you have, you better, you better gain fucking mm. interest from them because if they don't want to hear from you, you're never gonna you're show back up. You're not coming back, and you're not getting so the promo. So this is this is your Shark Tank moment. Okay, no, no, let's talk about field trip. Okay, hold on. 
No. Okay. Here's the thing. I I do want to do a serious episode <laughs> with you, but actually, I don't know if people fucking care about you, babes. You gotta. Do they your, do. You know? They do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Look at me. I actually I can't see myself because. Okay. Um. So what do I do? <laughs> I'm in the band and I'm actually going on tour. Damn, girl, you're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Damn, all you got. Daniel. Uh, listen, okay. How about I just tell some jokes? All right. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I was watching Squid Games, and <laughs> hold on, because I didn't know we were doing Damn Daniel the whole season oh. with all the white bands. <laughs> White man sales, white man sales have gone up 800% since Squid Games came out. And um, it was like, we were doing damn Daniel. Every episode I'd be like, damn, damn Daniel, Daniel, back out of the game on the white man's. Um, y'all should get uh, James on here. <laughs> what? James, James Charles? Gordon? Yeah, James Charles and James Gordon. Okay, yeah, this is our open invite. James Charles, we know ah. you really like us and you miss us. Um Give us a call. <laughs> Hit Kai. us up. We'll give you a second chance. We'll Kai be brave enough this. to give you a chance. Wait, who are you talking to? Why are you talking to Kai? We don't talk to Kai. Wait, this is the first Kai. time y'all get an opportunity to have two conversations at once. Like, I'm talking no, to Kai. We, that's, we don't <laughs> know. that's like the like worst that. podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we should actually do a podcast like no, that. Go, where it's go two on people your own and you find someone to talk to you. You don't come here and find I'll someone. I'll do a to podcast talk with you, Kai. No, don't. Comment below. Kai, I love you. I love you, Kai. Ooh, uh, it's so hot in here. So it's cool if I talk during the... Oh, no, no. Uh, fuck you very much. Okay, ask me something. Um... Do you need help? No. Okay, that was weird. That was, like, <laughs> took you long to say. Um, oh, I know... No, uh, no. What, what's... Oh, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite <laughs> song right now? Girl, what's your, uh, what's your favorite song? <laughs> Damn. That's how James Corden starts off. Uh, karaoke. <laughs> karaoke. Carpool karaoke every time. So what do you want to do for this episode? Um, uh, my, uh, <laughs> my favorite song. Um, I've never seen so much of your legs. It's I know. Like, it's actually it's like yeah, look, They look good though, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's really yeah, you're actually sensual. giving. Come on, Tumblr. Oh my God. Okay. Cool. Um, um, my favorite song <laughs> Is probably number one. What? By Pharrell Williams? <laughs> yes. No, you're just saying that. No, I'm not number Dude, one. Dude, oh my that god. That is not your you're favorite an song. Actual... Right now it is. You're really? a tweaker. You're a little skateboard peak. Come on. Oh, you're a tweaker. You're tweaking Yeah, out. you're like dope sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is my brother. That's not me. Oh, oh god. Let's talk about my family Do you need for a second. to cut okay. that out, actually? <laughs> no. Oh, leave god. It out. oh my god. Um, <laughs> Should we harmonize real quick? Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's harmonize with the view. Drew, you start. No, I'm not starting. Please. No, you start because I'm good. Why do you have to start? Because neither of you know how to actually harmonize. Uh, Fuck you. Uh, no. Just try to get for the lower note. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. See, this is the most put together the podcast has ever been because I'm here. I want to um, pull your hair really bad. You guys should comment down below to get me you back get next week. You should get extensions. I don't want to get extensions. And yeah, I cut Why my not? hair for Why a reason. Not? Okay. I want to be able to interview Josiah, but I think he should just get out now. Ooh. Are we going to do media? <laughs> oh my God. Are, are we going to do media of the week? <laughs> yeah, we'll do media of the week and you can do we'll media. Do a few, we'll do a few you, more questions you? and then we'll do media of the week. <laughs> so Corella, think... <laughs> should we interview it? you as Corella? You guys didn't like it. You told me to take it off. We did, and you should keep it off. You should no. You should take it all off. Oh damn! No. Okay, I've never been rejected like that. Um. <laughs> okay, so Uncle Ben from Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. What's your fucking favorite <laughs> media of the week? Like you're greeting me out. <laughs> no, like I'm actually. I don't know if you can tell, but I fully like have not been here for the last ten minutes of this episode. It's okay, baby. Josie, you want to sit on my lap? Nope. So you can have. Okay. okay. Um, what time are we? At? I know you're wearing red, but it doesn't seem like like you're Santa Claus. I don't think. Um, <laughs> should I read an excerpt shit. from my Lemony Snicket book or no? Yes, that would be amazing. But maybe I'll save it for the next episode. Yeah, that'd be good. We could do it the one after that one too. But in all seriousness, if you the one after that, what is <laughs> happening right what now? What do you mean? It's three three people in a podcast. That would be a good idea, actually. That's like um. Are you a asking lot of for a ideas. job? Like we like we can't like. I don't need can't. a job. I have a job. I'm signed to a record label. 
<laughs> okay. okay. I believe you. You don't have to like it's, say so. Do you want to be on our podcast regularly? Yeah. Nope. Okay. <laughs> My media of the week is Squid Games for TV shows. Okay. Um, I think I've watched. I've seen it twice. Also, the new season really? of You. Oh, he's been watching I've never You. Seen you. I, oh, hey, You. We should do a parody. Joe, that a thing? Is that a thing? Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also, no one's one. talking about that. Joe Biden being the main character in you. <laughs> Dude, no one's talking about Joe Biden calling his wife Joe Biden. Uh, <laughs> Wait, my, my wife, Joe Biden. <laughs> hey, girl. We're not talking about it. Okay, like, he's better than Trump, but our commander in chief is, like, withering away every single day. That motherfucker is going to die. We need to change the, the age for what? What? <laughs> <laughs> we need to change the narrative. The age. We need to change the ideas in the narrative of exactly, the media. Exactly. No, I was saying we need to change the age requirement to be. Oh my god, we need to change the air, uh, age requirement of being a president. We should let a nineteen-year-old be president. Yes, Actually, yes, yes, to our twenty-year-old. Josiah, is that you, you announcing? Be president? Your, your... Okay. Yes, I do actually believe we should change the age. You have to be born on May six, two thousand one. Check the famous birthdays, please. <laughs> pull it up, pull it up, Kai. Pull it up. Where, Come on. where does your famous birthday say you're born? Um, for some reason, okay, yeah, I'll talk about that because everyone always asks about it. For some reason, it says that I was born in Hong Kong, China. <laughs> I wasn't born there. Um, but somebody submitted it because I didn't submit shit to them. They asked me for my age and my birthday, and I told them. Um, I don't know how they know everything else, but I tried to change it. And Wait, does everybody who's on Famous Birthday email them back and say, my birthday is here and here? Yeah, I did it when I was like 14. I did it too. Of me, they're so Ugh. ugly. I did, I did it when it I was too. 18. I'm going to start calling paparazzi on myself. I'm going to join the fucking Should we do I it? tried yeah. it and he blocked me. No, <laughs> I guess the problem is I'm like, no, I want them to take pictures of me seriously. But yeah, because fucking Hollywood fix wants gonna... the pictures of Enya, you mans are walking to her Ford <laughs> Fusion. <laughs> Uh, no, we should we should do that. The Air One parking lot. We should start calling the paparazzi on ourselves. So Phoebe Bridgers and Bo Burnham, huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys should make this a smoky drama show, like talking about drama. What? Okay, what does the smoky have to do with that? <laughs> like it's like so. J- <laughs> what <laughs> damn, is that? Daniel. Um, damn, damn, damn. All right. Okay. What? Okay. So your song no, is do, not your do media. Do real media. Okay. Um. Wait, I think Squid Games and you is the real medium for you. Have you actually watched Squid Games twice? Oh, yeah, I've seen it twice. Almost three times. Um, Actually, my media of the week genuinely is something that people don't talk about enough is Cruella. Not even joking. No, not even joking. You saw it. It was a good movie. No, it's uh, it's genuinely a great movie, but like, when you do it, it's not. <laughs> no, it makes, it, it, it changes least, everything for me. It is me. the least enticing thing ever, and that's why I haven't seen it yet, because my only, like, can we we'll watch Pointer tonight? to watching Cruella is fucking you. You're yeah. only boner to watch Cruella. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Wait, did I say boner? Okay, Sorry, no, I, I do. Have we're a not boner. talking about when we were setting up, and you was like, "Is this light? Do we look flattered? <laughs> <laughs> do we look flatter? Cut it." <laughs> um, my media of the week though is probably Cruella. I've seen it twelve times, almost thirteen. That's not an exaggeration, by the way. It's not. He had bought it on me Disney every Plus. single time he's watching it, and you he bought it on Disney Plus. Yeah, before it was free to stream, I bought it. 20 bucks 30 bucks you got worth scammed. it baby worth it <laughs> um i mean you have gotten every penny out of that yeah. goddamn that's movie. my movie um one and my song is come together by the beatles um no i don't know what song was it not actually number one by pharrell williams no girl that i just so said number one number one baby girl you and me <laughs> um, that's a hit to me mine is uh come again by m flow i've been listening to that one a lot I don't know what that is. Okay. You can go, Drew. Yeah, you go. Josiah just can silence a room, man. (laughs) He can really just do it. It's so fucking hot in here. Hurry. Uh, (laughs) Okay. uh, My media of the week uh, is Born Slippy by Underworld. I blasted that 30 times in the car today. I listened to it over and over and over again. Um, Claire de Lune, number three by Claude Debussy. Or... (laughs) Uh, uh, Cut that uh, out. No, that's his name, Claude de Bussy. You just said pussy. No, Claude de Bussy. (laughs) Are we allowed to say that on the. It it is Claude de Bussy. De Bussy? I thought it was Um, De Bussy. Then Portophone 
Uh, Portofino won by Raymond oh. Scott. No, we got to keep that one a secret. No, we're, I'm oh. done gatekeeping. I got called out for gatekeeping last week, and Don't it pissed me the fuck um, off. I'm going to shoot the next person to say something mean about me. Anyways, Raymond, my media Raymond of the week, Scott. my songs are Starting Over by LCD and the Search for God, Breaking Action by Scarface and MF Doom, I Want You to Love Me by Fiona Apple, and Stop Please, screaming. Please, Please by Fiona Apple. Damn. Fuck you. you my good? Me, my video media of the week is scenes from a marriage. I want Oscar Isaac so fucking bad, and I need to get to him in the next five years. Oh wait, he has a wife. Never mind. I ruin say, that I family. Need to get to him in the next five years because he is not. He, yeah, home he's, he's ruin that family. Yet. Hey, home wrecker. Wait, huh? How old is Oscar Isaac? I don't know if he's. I old. didn't know Siri was a guest on this show. <laughs> Maybe talk <laughs> to the real one. Maybe I know. You know. Why would you um, know? Yeah, oh, so God. I actually have been around. How have you been? How have I been? I've yeah. been actually awful. If you want to know the actual <laughs> truth, yeah, I've been. <laughs> he's not God lying. God fucking awful. Like, he's not lying. Fuck, Oscar Isaac is 42. I fuck. Uh, he's married, though. <laughs> Don't. After saying something like that, we need to reel it back in, people. Um, I'm so upset. This is so upsetting. Should we tell them about what we're His writing? His wife is pregnant with her second <laughs> child. <laughs> this is the worst news ever. You should Me ruin that family. Here delusional. Like, oh hey, my God, God, I can't. Ruin that family. Wait, Claire okay. delusional. Okay, that's it for the episode. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, but genuinely, if you want Josiah back, not as a monster and as a freak, and he has to promise that he's not going <laughs> to be a freak tweak. Show me the money. <laughs> We didn't plan any of this. That, that, that's, no, we have. No, we'll have. We'll have, we good, have, questions. We'll we'll have good questions. Stories. We'll have stories to talk about. But we just kind of wanted you to. We want you to get a feeler, babes. But I, I don't know if I want you back after the way you behaved today. Are you gonna ask me how my experience was? Because I'll tell you. How was, your, how experience? was your experience? It was fucking awful. It's hot as shit in here. There's candles lit for some goddamn reason. <laughs> We're setting the mood. It's you made 97 me wear this degrees. Coat. It's the mood. I had to wear a wig. Kai's here just fucking watching me. <laughs> That's um, his job. <laughs> yeah, I know. His job is to watch. Get somebody else with somebody with less threatening eyes. Damn. <laughs> Kai has very Kai soft, has really puppy eyes. eyes. No. Oh, that's really sweet. Shut up. I see I see through you. <laughs> like, I see through you. <laughs> okay, that's it. This is the most Kai spoken in an episode too. Yeah. And we'll make sure that doesn't happen next yeah, time. Cut it out. Sorry. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Um, <laughs> right, cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Make sure that if someone gives you um, something that isn't candy, you don't take it. And if they give you pills, <laughs> if, you, if they give you pills, take them. Um, not right now. What is that? It's actually really offensive. Oh. <laughs> See you guys on next week. <laughs> Is it offensive? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Emergency <laughs> alert. Emergency in a, in a, okay, bye, in a scope. <laughs> oh my God. Get up and show them your outfit. You already did. I just want them to get another look. <laughs> oh show God. the socks. You're kicking your mic. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you, you, no, I don't look. <laughs> you're woman And I got nothing under Okay, bye. The devil wears nada. Do that, do that no, the devil wears nada. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, guys.